I was an undergraduate and I was thinking about different majors. I knew that I was interested in public policy and wanted to have the tools necessary to address public policy questions that we were all wrestling with. And I took a lot of different classes and it wasn't until I took an economics class that everything really clicked for me. And I thought, this is the toolkit that I want to use to think about how to balance competing interests and to evaluate complicated policies to come up with something that's actionable, that can actually improve public policy in people's lives. Lives. And for me, the economics toolkit matched the way that I thought about things. And so I was thrilled to be able to go on in graduate school and develop the toolkit, but always apply it to those public policy questions. I was really interested in social insurance, not just health care, but welfare, unemployment insurance, school finance equalization. And I began to study health care because of the big role that it plays in government, both the federal government and state governments, and the interesting questions of fiscal federalism and how different types of governments work together or don't work together to produce better health outcomes as well as other public programs. Once you start thinking about health care and health insurance, it's such a big part of the government that you really spend more and more of your time thinking about how to get those programs right and how to use those public resources more effectively, and that's how I became a health economist.